This is to show what's going on with a set of uh, wide broken delta PTs and how come it works as a zero sequence filter. So it might be kind of hard to see, but on these springs, I have these little washers and that, that indicates polarity. And so here, 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 spot, and these are all non-spot. And then same thing here. So I have spot, spot, and spot. So it matches magnitude and angle as to what's going on here. So no matter what goes on here, the same always has to happen here. The windings have to be the same magnitude and they have to be the same angle. And that's why this works. So let's just say that we have an A-phase ground. Well, basically, since it's a delta system, the phase-to-phase -phase magnitude and angle is going to stay the same. It doesn't care that there's just a phase-to-ground fault because it's a delta system. So anyway, you'll see that the A phase winding gets shorted. The B and the C phase are now a 60 degree relationship to each other instead of a 120 degree relationship to each other. And the magnitude is increased by the root of three. So now we gotta do the same thing over here. So basically we're gonna take the A phase and short it, put it on the same peg. And then we're gonna make the B phase sorry, C phase, the same angle and magnitude as this, or pretty close. And then same thing with the, uh, with the B phase. So bam, that's what happens. You get a fault. All of a sudden, you go from no voltage to having three times the winding voltage, or three VO. So one, two, three. And it has the same angle as the phase that was shorted. So anyway, that's what's going on, and it, you know it works with uh, with all three phases, obviously. But I'm only going to run through one for right now.